Hey, this is Matt, and I want to share with you an old story that I heard long ago about the vulture and the hummingbird. Now, if you could picture in your mind what a vulture looks like. Yeah, they're, they're big, they're kind of ugly looking, they have sharp beaks and sharp, sharp talons, and they soar around the countryside. Now, as they're flying around the landscape and countryside, what do vultures look for? What are they looking for? Yeah, that's right. They're looking for what feeds them. And what feeds a vulture is the dead, decaying, a negative, all that dead, dying stuff is what feeds vultures. And that's what they look for. And the vultures find what they look for. Now think of a little hummingbird. You have that picture? Now they're little, they're, they fly really fast, they have those long beaks, pointy beaks. And when hummingbirds fly around, what are hummingbirds looking for? Yeah, hummingbirds are looking for the flowers, the sweet stuff, the sweet nectar, because that's what feeds them and that's what they find. You see, the hummingbird and the vulture fly around landscape and they're looking for what they feed upon, and that's what they find. It, and hummingbirds and vultures, they don't have a choice. This is in their DNA. This is how God made them. They look for what feeds them. Now, how about you when you fly around your personal or professional landscape? What are you looking for? What feeds you? You see, a vulture looks for death and dead and decaying things, and the hummingbird looks for the sweetness and the pretty things. Now often, those two things are right next to each other, side by side. You see the vulture and the hummingbird fly over the same landscape. They each find what they're looking for. Now I'm no different. When I walk into my house, anytime, if I wanna be a vulture, I can. If I wanna walk in my house anytime, I can find dirty laundry. I can find dishes that need to put away. I can find boys beds that need to be made and I can be a vulture. Now also, anytime I walk in my house, can I be a hummingbird as well? I can find the love of two kids. I have a great wife and we have a great marriage and we love each other deeply and, and we can find the Bible in our house and God. See, I can be a vulture or a hummingbird and I can feed upon whatever I'm looking for. Now, I know in nature, that's the way God made them. A vulture and a hummingbird, they don't have a choice. Now you and I have a choice. And I just want you to consider, are you more of a vulture or more of a hummingbird? Now, in nature, they're both needed to keep balance. And I believe in our personal lives and professional lives, we need a balance as well, because we can't always walk around, fly or fly around being a hummingbird and always seeing the good side of everything. And in return, you can't walk around or fly around always being a vulture. You have to find a good mix. So as you consider this in the world that we live in right now, where people are crazy and things are super negative, I want you to remember and I want you to think about how much you're being a vulture and how much you're being a hummingbird and I want you to remember that unlike animals, because it's in their DNA, you and I have a choice. Are you a vulture or are you more of a hummingbird? If you'd like some more information, uh, check me out on my website, mapbooth.com. Thanks.